Hello everyone, this is Gary Bennett. Welcome to class number five for our Swift programming class. Um, tonight we're going to be talking um, about optionals and forced unwrapping. This is chapter from chapter four of my book. Um, and in case this is the first time you listen to any of the recordings, uh, it's Swift for Absolute Beginners and we are in chapter number four. You can uh, access all the recordings and see the schedule at um, if you go to excelme.com and click on the free videos, you can see the classes coming up here and what we're talking about uh, any given week. And then, of course, if you'd like to take any of my courses where we go through um, iOS uh, and Swift development and much more uh, detail, you can uh, visit uh, the courses page at excelme.com. So let's go ahead and get started um, from chapter four in the book here. Let me bring up. Uh, the book and um, we, we've already talked about uh, optionals and what optionals mean in Swift and basically in Objective C we could test for nil and it didn't hurt us if values if our objects contain nil and we tried if we try to access a nil value it didn't it didn't hurt us Swift um, Swift is a whole different ball game Swift it um, it matters if a value is nil or not. So we have to check for that. And so again, what optional means is a value may or may not contain, I should say an object may or may not contain a value. Okay? Or say it another way, an optional may or may not be nil. Okay? That is that is what it means. And we talked about that earlier in our previous class. So let's talk about how we access optionals. So one way we can do this is our optionals again as we've talked about optionals are denoted with the question mark. That means they may or may not contain a value. And here we're going to assign an optional um, a string and a type string. The uh, the name of the um, variable is called some optional and we're going to set that equal to hello world. And to access it we're going to say um, we're going to assign it to a constant, a constant name is a let, and we can go ahead and access that just fine now. Okay, so no issues there at all, and and that's called optional binding, where we assign an optional a value, all right, and we know that that value has contain that object contains a value. Now there are times that we want to be able to um, what's called unwrap the optional. We want to see if an optional is equal to nil and then and then access it. So let's look at some examples here. So here we have a um, an optional object. It's a string of type string called optional string and it's assigned to my optional string. OK, and now what we're going to do is we're going to force unwrap it. And that basically saying is I know double dog sure that that variable, that optional variable contains data. Okay, it is, it is incumbent upon myself to check and make sure from my code that that optional has a value. So I know for sure here that this, that this optional string object here um, is not going to be nil. And we can see that here. So I'm going to unwrap it by using the exclamation point. Okay, that means I know for sure that I have a value in there. And if it doesn't, it, at runtime, it you're, it will crash. If this is actually assigned to nil and you did this, um, you will get a um, um, a compiler error. And um, or what we can do is we can simplify this text here by saying that this is an implicitly unwrapped optional when we declare it with the exclamation point, just another way to notate it, and then access next optional string without having to use the exclamation point every time. Okay, so that's what's called in Swift implicitly unwrapped optionals. And then we also talked about here what optional binding is where we go ahead and assign a value we assign uh, assign a value to an optional 
We then assign that optional to another variable. We don't have to use the, um, the bang sign or the exclamation sign to uh, exclamation point to access that optional. So now, one thing about optionals, they're new to just about every iOS developer. So they take a little bit getting used to. So basically what you have to remember in summary is that when you see the question mark, that means it's an optional. That means it may or may not contain a value. You need, before you access that optional, you need to check, and we talked about this in the previous class, to check to see if it's nil before you try to access the value in that object. Okay. Now, if you know from your coding that um, um, there is absolutely positively going to be a value assigned to that optional, you use the bang symbol, say, I know, I know it's got a good value, I'm going to go ahead and assign this to my object and access it. Again, a shortcut is so that you don't have to use the exclamation point like we did right here to access our variable, we can just go ahead and declare it with the exclamation point and then we don't have to in our coding uh, after it, we don't have to use the exclamation point to unwrap it. All right, so those of you that are attending live, I'm going to stop the YouTube recording um, here and, uh, and then I will take any questions uh, on this topic or on any other topic that um, you'd like to on Swift programming. All right, thanks for those of you that are attending uh, through the recording. I um, look forward to seeing you in our next class. Again, if you'd like to attend live, they're Monday nights. Here's the information to attend the webinars. Here's where you can see the uh, YouTube um, previous recordings, which are right here. And if you subscribe to my YouTube channel, every time I post something, you get notified. Thanks, everybody. And I'll start taking questions now for those of you that are attending live.